All right, back for another beer review, and today I'll be reviewing yet another beer from Rogue Owls, and they are headquartered in Newport, Oregon, and this is their Honey Kolsch. So they are calling this one a Kolsch-style ale brewed with wildflower honey. Comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, 26 IBUs, and at the time of review, this can is approximately four months old. So Rogue, I recently reviewed their uh, double chocolate stout, which was way better than I remember it being. It was actually quite delicious. And I saw this when I was picking up beers for uh, the Shelfie Beer Reviews for the month of June 2022. And I was like, you know what? Honey Kolsch sounds perfect for the weather right now. We're just about to get into summer. So yeah, I'm really excited about this one. Now, when it comes to Rogue, I've always enjoyed most of their beers to some degree. My problem with Rogue has always been their price point. Back in the day, talking, you know, 10 years ago, uh, here in the Western New York area, more specifically Buffalo, New York, um, their products would be on the shelves with uh, a lot of West Coast uh, breweries like Lagunitas, uh, Stone, Firestone Walker. And when they used to sell their beers in their big bombers, they were always a couple bucks more expensive than the aforementioned three breweries. So I didn't pick up a lot of their stuff just because of the price point, but now we're seeing a lot of their stuff in cans. It's reasonably priced. And uh, yeah, I've always, I've never had any issue with the beer itself. It was always the price point. So I might be reviewing some more A Rogue over, uh, you know, the next couple months. Um, I will say that I have not seen their Mocha Porter in a long time. That's probably my favorite like core slash rotating beer from them. I don't even know if they brew it anymore. So if anybody out there knows if they do brew, uh, brew the uh, Mocha Porter, let me know. Anyway, let's give this a pour. Like I said, Kolsch, with wildflower honey. Um, I do like Kolsch's, and this one just sounded interested because, uh, you know, quite interesting because of the uh, honey addition. So I'm hoping that has a little bit of like a floral sweetness going on here. They have a spiel on the back that I'm not gonna read until the end, if I remember, of course. So yeah, that pours out like Kolsch, a little bit of like a chill haze, but also a little bit of haze in general. Has a lot of carbonation. There's actually a lot of fine particulates uh, in the beer. Uh, has about a finger of a bright white, fluffy, almost soap sudsy looking head. Looks like a Kolsch to me, albeit, you know, I, I don't think Kolsch's are usually super clear. Uh, this one definitely has a little bit more of that uh, suspended in animation kind of sediment, which is which is fine by me. Anyway, that's a good nose. Huh. So it's very muted in the nose. There's a little bit of like a floral sweetness, which I'd imagine is the honey. I wouldn't tell you this is honey if I was doing a blind, of course. It has that grainy, bready kind of malt uh, consistency and uh, aroma that you're expected to get with this style. Maybe a slight earthiness as well. A touch of like a, uh, I'm gonna say a, zest, a zesty citrus more in like the lemon realm. But yeah, breadiness, a little bit of a grainy quality, uh, zesty citrus more to the lemon side of things, a little bit of that floral uh, honey, but I would say just more of like a generic honey, uh, honey sweetness. I mean, uh, floral sweetness, not honey sweetness. I just, I want to keep on saying honey, even though, again, if I was doing this blind, it would not be honey. It smells pretty good. It smells very, uh, dare I say, crushable. Let's get into it. Cheers, everybody. That's really solid. Really nice, actually. The mouthfeel and the body are actually kind of different than I expected, but like in a welcoming way. So you're expecting a beer like this to be on the palate at 5% more like, you know, light body, maybe a touch over. This has like a lower side of uh, medium body kind of feel. It's a little bit bigger, which for some people might impair the uh, uh, drinkability of this one. Like maybe you, you want it a little bit more light and watery. But I dig that, a little bit bigger body. But the mouthfeel, it's crisp. This is a really clean beer, but it's really on the back of the palate, smooth and somewhat creamy. So the mouth feels like a step up from what I would um, expect from a beer like this. The taste, it's a honey colch. Right at the forefront, I'm hit with big multi qualities. It's bready, slightly biscuity, grainy. As it passes through, there is this floral kind of honey sweetness that hits and it just like dives in and out. I shouldn't say dives in and out. It, it comes in gradually and kind of keeps with you to the uh, back of the palate, but then kind of just slowly dissipates. But it's not too big. This is not, I don't think this is too sweet. There's a nice, I would say, mild bitterness on the back of the palate, semi-dry finish. This is an extremely, extremely crushable beer. 
I like that the, the honey isn't overdone. It's not too sweet. Uh, it's noticeable, especially since you, like I'm looking, you know, looking at the can and showing you this is a honey Kolsch. If I was doing it blind, would I tell you there's honey in here? I don't think so. I just say there's a floral sweetness. I don't think I put two and two together because it doesn't have a distinct kind of like honey taste. It has like the sweetness or like the floral aspect you kind of expect from honey, but it doesn't taste exactly like honey. Uh, but it's really well balanced, super easy to drink. I, I could crush a six pack of this easily. So I'm actually enjoying this one. Really good job by Rogue on this one. I think there might be some people who would want more honey out of this. And I could see where you where you uh, come from, um, from that angle is that, hey, you know, it says honey Kolsch. I want to be kind of punching the face with honey. But when you're drinking a 5% Kolsch, I don't want the honey to be uh, too overwhelming. I wish there was a little bit more honey flavor without bringing the sweetness. If they could do that, I think that'd be cool. But they didn't really do that here, but it's still a really good beer. Um, 5%, you really can't tell. So a Rogue's uh, Honey Kolsch, I have no problems giving this one a high 4 out of 5. 4.05 out of 5. Why? Because of numbers. It doesn't matter. But if you see this and you like Kolsch's or you like lower ABV kind of crushers, Pick this one up. Uh, price and availability, again, like I told you, the price points of uh, Rogue's products coming down in my neck of the woods, I believe it was $11 for a six pack of this. I picked up a single can. Um, I think the can, uh, I got it in a mixed six pack, but the six packs were, I think, $10.99. Yeah, I think it was like $10.99. I got this in a mix six at my local Wegmans grocery store. Uh, so I paid a buck 83 because it's $10.99. I, I paid the exact same thing. It was $10.99 for the So the single can was the same as if I would have bought it. Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about most of the time. You should know this by now on the Beer Patrol. Anyway, uh, yeah, $10.99 six pack and availability. I feel like if you see Rogue products, you probably should see this one. Um, again, this one was uh, canned back in February, about four months uh, ago. So I don't know if this is supposed to be just a spring seasonal. I'd imagine it is. Let's read the back real quick. It says, Honey Kolsch is our liquid ode to bees. Brewed with wildflower honey, this Kolsch style ale has layers of subtle floral notes accentuate, or accented by the honey's natural sweetness that uh, creates, cr that create a, that, cr it messed up, that creates a refreshing balance with the hops and malts. And they have like a little um, star that are pointing in the different direction, showing you like sweet, uh, bitter, malty, and it's all the way almost up at sweet, little bit into bitter, little bit into biscuit. Yeah, I would agree with that. So, yeah, good job by Rogue. If you see it, pick it up. Anyway, if you've had this one before, let me know what you think about it. Appreciate everybody stopping by for another beer review here on the Beer Patrol to the next one. Cheers.